What is going on guys? Victor here and today I got one of the strangest catch and cooks planned for you guys. This is a moonfish also called a look down. I caught it at the inlet the other day amongst a bunch of other stuff. You caught black grouper, redfish, snook, just a very wide place. These are fish I've been wanting to try for a very long time now. So if you guys want to see how we caught these. Imagine why, because it looks like they're constantly looking down. Very odd looking fish, but supposedly delicious. They're probably just a pain in the butt to play because they're so small, you gotta catch a lot of them. In the live will you go. See what happens when you trash talk? Man, I can't keep them blue, that's my problem. Next year, awesome. These things have 
such a thin skin. The first way I'm gonna pull the skin off, and so what I'm gonna do first is just make an outline of my fish. So I'm going down along the back and I'm just making an outline. And they do have quite a bit of head meat, so don't miss that. down to there and then when you get to this part so all of this since I've made a couple of flays already this is all just kind of rib cage and guts you can go down here but you're not gonna get any more meat so what I'm gonna do is come around here and come and come around halfway down to right around there because this like I said is pretty much all just waste and then we're gonna continue our outline So now with the outline, what we're going to do is we're going to peel the skin off. They probably start around the head right here. And what they have is, they have this really, it's almost like two distinct layers. You have this really thin, like film right here, and then this is the skin itself. So we're going to go ahead and just peel it off. That's why we made the outline and we're leaving the meat on itself. like that. I guess that probably wouldn't be too enjoyable to eat, but you could probably eat it anyway. So that is what our filet looks like. Now we actually got to take it off. So we go back to our moon fish. And there you go. This right here, it looks like skin, but you can barely, barely feel it. I'm sure it'll flip right out. Now we're gonna pull the skin off again. So it starts to come off real easy around the head and then it gets more difficult as you get closer to the body of the fish. This is definitely something you wanna use a smaller knife for so you have more control. It's not a very big fish. You definitely don't want a big knife where I can see you're gonna be missing a lot of meat. You just don't have that maneuverability. There you go. You can basically see the other side of the fish. Very, very white, flaky meat looks like. Barely any bloodline, not bony at all. And a decent amount of meat for these guys. Okay, so one reason I really like doing these catching cooks, as you guys know, no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. A lot of people are, would be intimidated by something like this, and I've never eaten them before, but I've wanted to try for a long time. A lot of my friends like them, and they're really plentiful fish, especially for the land-based angler. So if you guys, you know, don't have access to a boat, or if you get skunked, you're not getting that slot snook or slot redfish you get one day, why not have some fun without the white rods, get yourself some moonfish. You know, there's no need to go hungry. There's a big, plentiful food source, whether you guys are a land-based guy, a boat guy, there's fish everywhere. You just gotta know how to find it, cook it, and not be afraid to try things, get out of your comfort zone every once in a while. And that's really all there is to it. Make some moonfish franchise, a sandwich, anything you could possibly imagine. As we got our moonfish filleted up, I will see you guys in the kitchen, but before we move on, all the Land Shark shirts, the Land Shark logo shirts are on sale, you guys, they are in the description box below, LandSharkFishingGear.com. Check them out if you guys want to support the channel. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and make this moonfish into a gourmet meal. Alright guys, it is voiceover time, my favorite part of the video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So what I'm going to be doing today is making potatoes with green beans and a panko crusted fried
Hawk Parsley. Number one for color, number two, well, I should say number one for flavor, number two for color for addition. So here are our moonfish fillets, and you guys see the skin still remaining on the fillets? I'll tell you what, I've eaten them now. First of all, you don't taste it at all. And I kind of regret not making some moonfish with the skin on. I really want to uh, try it, but there's always room for next time. Because I think that the skin would add a tremendous amount of flavor. You guys know me. I love eating fish with the skin on, snapper, and, and other species, mackerel, kingfish. It gives it a very good, rich texture and flavor. So, we are going to season. I mean, this is pretty basic. We're just doing a from our egg directly into our panko breadcrumbs. I love panko breadcrumbs. And I got the seasoned kind because regular panko breadcrumbs are kind of bland. some sriracha, some whole fat Greek yogurt, I blended these up in the magic bullet, all three, very easy, actually really low on calories if you're watching that too, instead of using mayonnaise. So now we are going to cut up some lemons, orange, as well as, you know, just spray them You can't serve fresh fish without lemon. I kind of like this because I think that really slip it up as far as presentation and clean it. to finish it off with a little bit of sesame seeds, which you guys are going to see here in a second. And one thing that I was kind of surprised about, I didn't get that much flavor from the ginger. Maybe I should have added it at the very end as just a fresh herb. So our potatoes came out great. If you guys are looking for a simple potato recipe, this is it. I mean, it was really good. And like I said, that garlic got such a sweet flavor to it when it came out of the oven. I did it for about an hour. 400 degrees. Plating our potatoes, we're gonna garnish it with some fresh parsley. And I noticed one thing about plating is making the colors pop is contrasting the colors. So we did the green with the brown potatoes. We got our green beans with the toasted sesame seeds and the ginger garlic. We're our sweet chili sauce. We're gonna get those contrasting colors again. We got the lemon going on top of that. And to top it all off, we got our fresh moonfish. And it was delicious. Thank you guys so much as always, and I'll be seeing all you guys in my land trucks in that next video.